just a question. You mentioned difficulty bump. Can you tell us more about it? I, I think I read something about it, but it will be imp implemented by end of the year. Like, is, sure. Yeah, what was yeah, that I, all about? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. So what the difficulty bump is, is it's, uh, to, to put it in, in, in mining terms, it's yeah. an overhead that the network adds to the hash rate difficulty. So you can think about it almost as like fake miners on the network, right? Um, okay. and, and, you know, basically mining is a function of like your hash rate relative to everybody else's hash rate. Uh, so if, if there is more hash rate, you're, you proportionally have, have uh, much less. less. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and so uh, the, the difficulty bomb is, is like a very a steep exponential curve. So for like a year, it's basically flat. So it adds no extra difficulty. And then at some point, the bomb goes off uh, where, you know, it, it starts adding dif difficulty at an exponential rate to the network. And that means that, um, you know, very quickly within a few months of going off, it would add more difficulty to the uh, chain than the sum of all the current hash rates. So that means it would basically slowly make it impossible to mine on Ethereum. Um, so this has been in the protocol um, since 2016 or 15, uh, not exactly sure. Um, and in the past, every time that it started to go off, uh, so that we've see, and, and we've seen that if you look at a historical block time chart, you can see sometimes in Ethereum's history, blocks go from 13 to 14 to 15 seconds and whatnot. That means the bomb is going off. And so what we do then is we can push back the bomb. So we say, well, instead of going off at, you know, block, say 1 million, we're going to say, well, we're going to add an extra delay. We're going to add another million block delay, and then the bomb will go off at block 2 million. Okay, so what, what's, what's, the, what's the point of the bomb? Like, why would you want to have this? Yes. Doesn't, doesn't uh, like, make it dangerous for centralization? Because, like, the people with low uh, cost will be able to mine. Sure, yeah, yeah. So the point of the bomb is really to force us to upgrade, right? So... Okay. It, it makes it impossible to stay on the old chain. And I, I think this brings us two things. Like one, it forces us to have regular upgrades on the network, right? And eventually to move to proof of stake. Um, but the other thing too, is that it, it kind of acts as a way to protect people against scams, where if you do want to um, fork Ethereum, you would need to at least kind of remove the difficulty bomb or update it and then get people to download that software. Right, so it's not like in say when there's a hard fork in Bitcoin, um, you can choose to just do nothing and stay on the on the normal chain, right? And and you know on the, you, on you the old chain. Yeah, exactly. But oh. with the difficulty bomb, you cannot do that, right? It's like when the bomb goes off, you you need to choose to upgrade. And if people want, you know, if the hard fork is contentious, it's fine, right? Like you can have two sides to the upgrade. It's only happened once <clears throat> in Ethereum's history with Ethereum Classic. Um, but it puts like a minimum amount of work that both sides need to do to support Ethereum. And I think in the space where like we've seen a lot of scams and people try to like, you know, fork Bitcoin 10,000 times on Bitcoin Silver, Bitcoin Diamond, Bitcoin Ultra and all that. Um, it makes that a bit harder to do for Ethereum. Um, and, and, and I think that's kind of valuable to protect new users coming in this space.